Hello, welcome to the Met Office 10-day trend. Meteorological spring begins on the 1st of March next week. And with light winds and plenty of sunny skies around during Wednesday and Thursday, well, it will almost feel like spring is in the air. But by this time next week, well, spring will feel very far away. It's about to turn particularly cold, unusually cold for the UK. Cold enough up and down the country for snow possible, but snow mounts will be highly variable, as is often the case in this country. And of course, it's too early to put too many details on the forecast for snow itself. High pressure on Wednesday night across the country mean that most places will be dry and with clear skies, temperatures will fall to around zero or just below. A frosty start to Thursday, but a bright start. For many, it's a sunny day and with light winds. Actually, it's not going to feel too chilly, but temperatures are starting to come down. Five degrees across many parts of Britain, seven degrees in the northwest, where a bit more of a southwesterly breeze strengthening through the day and rain clouds from the Atlantic will introduce milder air. But that doesn't make much further progress southeastwards because it's blocked by this huge area of high pressure that's developing over Scandinavia and Siberia, and that will be the dominating influence in our weather as we go through the next 10 days and beyond. Now, that high pressure edging towards Scandinavia will increasingly give us a brisk east southeasterly wind. So the key difference on Friday compared to Thursday will be more of a breeze from the east. And that coming off a cold continent will mean that it's going to feel pretty chilly out there. Temperatures on the thermometer will be similar, around 5, 6 degrees or so. Add the wind and you can knock a few degrees off that in terms of how it will feel. So a wind chill on Friday, and even more so as we go through the weekend, you'll see the isobars starting to tighten up across the country. And again, follow them back. We're getting the winds coming in from a chilly continent. High pressure, though, dominating the weather at the moment and keeping the usual Atlantic wind and rain well to the west of us. And that means that for most of us, actually, it's a fine weekend with plenty of sunny skies. However, you will notice that cold wind. So Thermometers, again, will read th three degrees or so uh, fairly widely, but it's going to feel significantly colder than that with the wind chill. The wind also bringing in one or two snow flurries uh, throughout much of the weekend. But on the whole, most places will stay dry and there'll be plenty of sunshine around as well. Big changes, though, as we go through Sunday and into the start of next week. Now, we begin the weekend with nothing particularly unusual. Yes, a chilly wind from the continent and a few snow flurries, but it's not exceptional for this time of year. However, this deep cold air here, all the way from, Scandinavia, uh, from Siberia, that's just waiting to come in. And through Sunday, you can see it engulfing the UK. This is unusually cold air and it's been carried by the jet stream. Fast flowing current of air, 20 to 30,000 feet high in the sky. Normally, we see the jet stream meander across the Atlantic, but uh, tending to come in from the west, bringing us cloud, rain, uh, changeable weather, but also relatively mild temperatures. Now, into the start of next week, the jet stream takes this very unusual direction, this path coming in from the northeast, bringing us bitterly cold temperatures. And this is something that uh, I mentioned back uh, two weeks ago in the 10-day trend as a consequence of uh, developments high above the North Pole that have basically slowed down the jet stream above us and caused it to take an unusual path. So this cold air that it's bringing in from Siberia, well, that is unusual. How unusual? Well, it's likely to be the coldest air that we see widely across the UK for some years. You probably have to go back to March 2013 to see air that's as cold as next week's air. By night, temperatures fairly widely will drop many degrees below freezing. And by day, well, we'll just about nudge above freezing, but only just. And for some places, we'll keep a frost on the ground throughout the day, despite the sun becoming increasingly strong at this time of year. That will feel even colder with that marked easterly wind. And the easterly wind coming over the North Sea later Sunday and into Monday will start to bring frequent snow showers. Now, these are showers, so they'll be hit and miss, but uh, it's likely that it will be eastern and southern parts of Britain that bear the brunt of the snow showers. 
through the first part of next week. And because they're showers, the amounts will be highly variable from place to place. Normally in this country, temperatures are marginal for snow. Not next week. Next week, it's possible that we could see snow or air that's cold enough for snow all the way from the Scilly Isles up towards Shetland. But like I say, the amounts will be highly variable and we need that extra ingredient that is moisture. Initially, it comes from the North Sea. But throughout next week, well, we could see snow coming at us from almost any direction. There is the risk of significant snowfall causing disruption, but it's too early to say when and where. That's why it's important to stay up to date with forecasts from the Met Office website via our app and following us on social media. It's going to turn very, un very cold, unusually cold. Stay up to date with all the forecasts.